welcome and interview by DJ SPRC. We have in front of the table now my Creighton uh, V. Wow. Hmm. My Arma Creighton 6S BLX version 3. And if you're tuning in this one, I, I am doing a lot of stuff to this one here. Uh, I did a past video on the front chassis brace. This is a V3. The V3 doesn't have the center brace in aluminum and still has these in plastic. Um, the V1, V2, they don't have, they have that. And the V3 has the guards here that pre -re really removed, should I say? These guys here. If you have these on yours, that means you have a, a minimum of V3. If you have these with the red center brace, you have a V4 and so on and so on. The V1, V2 don't have these pieces on. I just decided to add them to mine just for a little bit more reinforcement on them because the plastic, if I grab the front run right here, they're still flexible, there's flex to them. The aluminum, no flex. Now, going aluminum could be good, could be bad. If I do jump my vehicle and for some reason I do tweak the chassis or tweak that aluminum brace, it's bent, it stays bent. There's ways to bring them back, but you're never going to bring them back perfectly straight. On certain parts, I don't mind going aluminum. That's one part I don't mind. But today we're going to do the back one, the rear center chassis brace. Part number ARA320567. And this is the 140 mil. You have to be careful which vehicle you have because there's two sizes of these guys. And at the same time, on the back here, you have two different sizes spacers. Now you can keep them plastic if you wanted to. When I was at my local hobby shop, they had them in stock in aluminum. I said, why not give them to me? These are the aluminum chassis brace spacer. Uh, that's part number ARA320569. I said to myself, why not? I'm there. Let's add a little, little bit of bling bling to it at the same time. And the worst part, I'm not a big fan of red. I'm not a big fan of black too. Give me a good, uh, basically a good blue, uh, or even then the new uh, Nerdo Gray that I do like a lot. But whatever. Uh, we'll need to remove these two screws on both sides here. I think one's a nut. Yeah, that's a nut, like me. We'll need to remove on this side here. And that's a 2.5. I'll need to remove my tire. It's kind of in the way. And while I have my tire, let's use it as a stand at the same time. Here's the nut, and I'm just going to grab my flat screwdriver here. And while I'm unscrewing the screw here, I'm going to push on it. And for some reason, it doesn't want to come out. Really doesn't want to come out. Sorry about that. There we go. Sometimes when they're in there for a while, they're in there. Now, do remember which side is which here 
I know it's a little bit harder to see, but even if you do mix it up, doesn't matter because your your brace won't be centered. It's gonna make me bring the pliers out. Like you can see, I didn't really prepare for this one. Normally I am prepared. There we go. Put that aside. Now my brace is loose. Remove the two spacers. Now we're gonna undo it from underneath. You could do that first if you wanted to. It is this one right here. And that you're gonna keep because you, that one you'll need to reuse. And if you see it here, I'm not sure if it's, it's hard to see on video, not on video the way it is right now, the amount of chassis flex. This vehicle really does need this. Let's take our aluminum one out. And our two optional spacers. That again, you don't really need. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it back up and install the front one first. I'm not going to fully tighten it. To be able to give me some uh, wiggle room here. Now we're going to grab whoop, the smaller one first and start inserting our screw. That way it holds itself. Install the other one. And we're going to put our nut. Then we're going to go back underneath. Tighten the that screw up. And reinstall our tire. And this is how you install the EXB rear center brassy chase. Chase? Brace. That's a chase. Wow. Uh, yeah, that easy. Now, I will have a future video for the middle one that's coming. If you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. If you did like this video, hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate it a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. It's still free with YouTube right now to subscribe um, and yeah thank you for watching I do appreciate it a lot thank you